Good morning and welcome to Tribeca Games Presents The Craft and Creative of League of Legends. Please welcome to the stage Jane Rosenthal, film producer and co-founder of Tribeca Enterprises. I wanted to come dressed this morning as a uh, Kraken High Priestess, but I thought it was a little too early in the morning, at least for me to dress like that. Um, some other of you look fantastic. Uh, you may be wondering why Tribeca is presenting this event. At Tribeca, we have always explored the creative space and how stories are being told. We have a passion for story and the creators who tell them, for the new ways to watch and to be immersed to reimagine content. Almost five years ago, our festival was the first festival to premiere a game in the official program. What excited us were the parallels we saw between game making and filmmaking. We have experimented with new ways to involve our audience, such as a drive-in that was really a sit-in on the West Side Highway, uh, actually seemed really crazy in New York City in 2002 after 9-11. Building a back-end system with Amazon uh, to have filmmakers upload short films to be voted on by viewers who could like or not like a film to the internet in 2004 was actually not that simple. That was a year before YouTube launched. They figured that out. Or way back in 1996, I produced this thing, this um, CD-ROM. Um, it was a video game called The Last Resort with Aerosmith. Does anybody remember these things? Uh, we can sell it on eBay later. Um, <laughs> Anyway, here we are, fast forward. Earlier this year, I had the pleasure of visiting Riot in Santa Monica. My team and I were excited by the passion, creativity, and skill that goes into bringing League to life. I saw the extraordinary range of talent from designers to deep, vibrant characters that inhabit an expansive world. As a producer, I have always known that some of the most inventive creators have come from the gaming world. But the lead process seemed different, and that's what really, really intrigued me. League always stays current through design, art, and new character themes and stories. They have championed the creative storytelling process behind the game and balanced that with gameplay for a large and highly engaged audience. What I thought was, could we actually showcase the creativity that goes into League uh, in its expansive world? Could we possibly work with them? And then it just snowballed. So here we are. I could not be more honored that Riot would take this journey with us and give us a glimpse behind the curtain. I now have the true pleasure of introducing someone who left a career as an oceanographer and has been designing multiplayer games for 18 years. Ten of those years were on Age of Empire, and then he moved to Blizzard Entertainment, where he led system designs on World of Warcraft. In 2013, he joined Riot, where he serves as design director for League. He's been known by many different names to many communities, and now we welcome him to our Tribeca community, Dr. Greg Street, or as we say here at Tribeca, the doctor. That was Diana's song, named after one of our champions. We'll talk a bit more about champions in a minute. Um, I did want to thank Jane and the entire Tribeca staff for inviting us. And uh, thanks to all of you for showing up this morning. We're super excited to be here and to talk a little about the craft and creative of League of Legends. Uh, we're going to dive pretty deep into the people and passion behind this world. So who out there is familiar with League of Legends? Like five or six of you. Great, great. Okay, I know not everyone out there is familiar, so let me just run quickly through the game so that you have some context about um, what we're going to talk about today. So League is a uh, 5v5 game. Um, the idea is to work with your teammates to get into the enemy's base and destroy it before they do the same to your base. 
Uh, it sounds pretty straightforward. We like to say that uh, League is kind of difficult to learn, impossible to master. You uh, start off the game by selecting uh, one of these characters. We call them champions. There's, I think, 127 now, and uh, that number grows every month. Each champion has different strengths, abilities, and ideally distinct personalities. Now, the identity of a character is an amalgamation of lots of different content. The story and the connections of the character go well beyond the game. We like to represent them in cinematics, music videos, and short stories. There's also a ton of community content. We have this awesome, very passionate community, and they give a lot back to us. So here you see um, cosplay for one of the champions. And players also generate a ton of fan art. So behind the scenes, uh, Riot Games has teams, very passionate developers, who work together to breathe life into the champions. So for example, we have writers who write the backstories for the champions and all the lines you hear them speak in game. We have game designers, such as myself, we come up with the abilities of the champions, we kind of write the rules of the game and make sure players are having fun. We have engineers who do the code, everything that makes the game function, make sure your client can communicate with servers and things like that. We have a lot of artists, and art encompasses everything from the animation that makes a champion move to the visual effects when a, a champion uses an ability or casts a spell. Uh, sound designers, producers, uh, quality assurance, it, it's a really large team, and you know, we could never develop anything quite this, this complicated and, you know, frankly, massive at times if we didn't have uh, such a great you know, group of people behind us. Today, we're going to dive into the world of these developers and examine the creativity in the context of League. League of Legends has benefited from years of iterative development. We launched in 2009, and the, you know, at the time, the game looked a little, little simple. Little, um, we didn't quite have the caliber of talent that we have today. We didn't quite know what we were doing, frankly. And things have come a long way. League's development is ongoing. It's never complete. We want the League experience from gameplay, and to the world behind the game to continually evolve. That's one of our design values, that League of Legends is constantly evolving. And I definitely want to provide a big thank you to the reason that we get to do all of this. It's the players. So the first panel we're going to kick off with is on champion creation. So thanks again, and enjoy the show.